composition, even the Xin Zhao ultimate. And now SK Telecom last picking the Corky. Has a reliance yeah. on that sustain now to keep up with Urgot inside of the matchup. And this could actually... Oh, this is really close, actually. Lance that second one, yeah. and immediately the Fear Beyond yeah. Death into Ignite Flash as easy as you would like. First blood. It, it's not even just about how many games can you get in, because, well, hold that thought for a second. Clid yeah. trying Going to get some MVP points. Bay. Here's Clid. There's the kick. He doesn't have his Flash, so should be a pretty easy gank. Down he goes. His con up in the top side, but it's a two on three. That means that no can do. They're just going to have to trade that one for the Cloud. Making a very wide rotation into the Gen Z jungle. Now they're trying to turn on to fly, but that aftershock keeping him alive for so long. He goes the two-shot barrage and Khan from behind, trying to make it happen, but two members of SKT immediately go down, and here's Kuve from the top lane. Teddy, he is way too late to get onto this one, and the fear goes down. It's gonna be really, really problematic. He's gonna have the Iceborne Gauntlet. He's gonna be able to get those Ninja Tabbies later, and that's gonna make it so difficult. Force to use some ultimates to even survive after that play. And now the SK Telecom team composition and Gen G. They're really running away with this early to mid transition. But it does look like the top tier one as well is conceded to Gen G. Having Clid up here means that perhaps they will be able to take this top turret. Down it will go in the dream. Yeah. And after this one, we'll get another one. Give us a second here. You definitely. Oh, and the what is going? They just go out the back door here. Right. We do have fly up in the top side. The teleport does come in. They do see this happening, and they just want to turn immediately on the fly. But he gets into the back line. But he is going to ultimate himself down. Clid not in a great spot, and Khan taking a ton of damage as well. Is going to re-engage, but he alongside Thresh will go down as well as Teddy. They tried to force the fight. And they're gonna pay big time for it. Three well, kills. Baron capture. And the only way that Gen G could manage to lose this is something absolutely catastrophic. No hope. Yeah. No chance in hell and getting near that objective right now. Flint thinking about it for about a millisecond there, and then he decides against it as Gen G they pick up and as it's just three lanes being pushed really heavily by the side of Gen G. Got ruler and light about in the middle. It's about to start. They're just warming up, you know? Yeah. You gotta warm up the car in winter. True, yeah, yeah. So this is like the beginning of the phase where the action is gonna happen, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Start with the cannon going down. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Well. Well, <laughs> Silas uh, in the live screen at the bottom left. <laughs> His best to sustain against the Urgot. Hook is going to go wide as Gen G are just bulldozing their way through this base right now. Ruler just raining hell on the side of SKT. And two champions that when they get behind look very unimpressing are Silas and Corky. And both SKT have both of those champions right now. And they're feeling really good about that one. The ult goes down onto Faker, but he cleanses late and he can't get away from the true shot barrage. Doesn't even flash it as he will go down. And as if they even needed that pick, Gen G looking to end this game. Yeah, and this was almost a perfect game from Gen G, where they're definitely going to be able to raise these two turrets. Well, and there's nothing SK Telecom can do. We're yeah. just going to go right into game two. Mata trying his best, but everybody's going to be going down here. Pick up the clean ace before we even get into this one. Game one will go the way of Gen G. No. Very big surprise. Gen G, speaking about things that don't entirely make sense, end up locking in a nocturne. So now they end up having a bit well, of a This is great timing is from Clint. Timing. Yep. He's going to get right on top of them. Three on two, the immediate flash away from Ruler. But there's the hook by Calista. Teddy getting pretty low, Whoa. trying to assassinate the 80 carries. And finally, one goes down in the ass. Clid getting pretty low as Whoa. well. But there's that trouble bubble as Fly comes in first. Peanut, though, can he actually oh. make it happen? Fly able to get on in there with the last second auto. For the reason why. You know, on a cannon, we was able to get the big push. He was backing to get a second he gets there as well. We're going for fly right now as, okay, the knockup All misses, right. the hook misses. In goes Peanut, trying to get that trade kill, and he absolutely will. Fly going to punish them hardcore for a big failed gank on the side of SKT. Whoa. As, oh. 
that was in close the pass, but so far hasn't been showing up tonight, to be honest. And we will have an Oosh. Ash to deal a lot of damage inside of these team fights. Yep, always but oh Ruler, <laughs> looking like, yeah, he's How he's about not, everything in the top lane to kill Ruler? Close. He is the carry, and he has already flashed. See you later, just <laughs> still for the out last second of that one as Clint nearly goes down, but they do convert onto a kill onto Ruler. And, ooh, and some... Oh, okay. there's a huge burst damage. The chain's going to land. He does have the stopwatch, but Faker trying to get it done, and he will. He sends the Q forward and gets the essentially a solo kill onto Flock. Yeah, that was a really, really good solo kill by Faker just now. And all this pressure going on around the map, Genji not really responding to it. And we were just talking about how they were trying to stabilize, but Ruler dying up in the top lane and now Fly giving up a solo kill in mid. Oh, he's trying to get on top of Cuvee too. Uh, well, One more Q would have um, done it, but the stopwatch comes in. You can see. And Dragon, five seconds away now. And Genji, I mean, they're in position to try to get it, but so are SKT. Oh, Fly. Oh, boy. Fly. Look at that kick. Gets him right back into the team. Looks like he's finally. This mid tier one turret. Faker. Oh, he's looking so to... angry. He's getting on in there. Oh. Nearly kills Ruler in the yeah, back line. Angry. And now he actually is super yeah, he's, angry. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to go in onto Ruler to get the kill, but the fear coming out <laughs> cleanse. Turret helping out, turret steal damage. And SK Telecom, they have a 3k gold lead. We'll just take another quick look at this. He is definitely a little far up. Well. This gets completely blasted. Oh, ooh, arrow ooh. comes in. Unfortunately, that's going to land onto the Callista. Uh, no real follow up after that one. It's nobody really going Demanding to that Genji come into you. You can see actually fly. Reach for Guardian Angel afterwards. Would love to get that item to be a lot. But what this is going to mean, now they convert it into a bottom tier two. And the gold lead continues to extend. It's about right five. And so instead, we're going to get a, another dragon to end up spawning. What will it be? And I, I really With like the Phantom builds. Dancer. It makes it very difficult. But life. Oh, okay. see life. you in another life. Comes oh, at you fast as uh, everybody tries to jump on him. But look at this. They're trying to trade onto Khan as both Ruler and Pino with their GAs saying we want to get on in there but now kind of beating Cube into that fight he actually just stays forward but he's going to oh, get on Baker, Baker into the back line takes out the brawl down goes the Ur got the clean kick from the side of the Lee Sin Clid and SKT everybody showing up on a big level and they don't even need the Baron they might actually just be able to end the game here they have the Mountain Drake and I think that should be the, the call here is Go for the Absolutely. Nexus, try to end the game. Clid tanking with that safeguard. Doesn't even matter, oh, Baker. Baker, his damage insane uh, okay. right now. He oh. says here, hey, take an extra kill. He's just being generous here. As the game comes down to the end of it, double GA on Peanut and Ruler will not matter. They're actually going to wait they want and their get KDA. the kills. They only get one, but they do get a Nexus. More importantly, and tie up the series one to one and just sail into the later game. Clid going to respond with Jarvis. Uh, they're responding with Jarvan here, and that's very surprising one because Khan at the blue and one from Clid at the red. As Khan trying to make this happen up in the top side, the trouble bubble though is going to go wide, and Cube able to flash away, but will be knocked up. Where's the paddle star? Doesn't actually come in as Baker just going to flash over for this one. Cube with no flash will pick. Up. Clid was also there, and now coming jump, jumping right back into live Clid. And he got this Ocean Drake for his team. Next Dragon they going to They may be have been able to burst that one down, but as it stands, they're going to give it over to SKT. His best to save his teammate. Ended up doing so in the end as top turret. Looking like it's poised to fall. Oh, and, boy, oh yeah. He puts himself in a bad spot there with the disdain. Nice timing on the stopwatch, but unfortunately, it does not matter. They give the kill up to SKT and the turret also. Okay, trying to punish Faker here, but he is, oh, he's going to try to avoid that stun, but he still goes down. Faker will get stunned at the last second. Clid coming in, but the TP from Scion, Peanut forced to flash away, Whoa. but he hops over, but he still goes down. And here is Teddy from the oh. ball lane, but there's the fear beyond death. Clid gets a little bit too low. And Mata and Khan tanky enough. Gold for swing now 
that just happened for Gen G. This was a really big wake up, and this is what they needed to stay in the game. As they are really looking to punish this Ocean Drake, saying, No, this is ours. Get the hell out of the Dragon Pit. Khan going to lose that engage tool. They're just going to burst down the Ocean Drake. Khan still considering an engage here, but now he's in an awful spot as there goes the Fear Beyond Death, and he's just going to sack his life, saying, here, take me with you. It's only fair for the Ocean. Well, Khan ends up dying, and now the gold gap only about 500, 400 gold now, and Gen.G are finding a way to claw back into the game, and this is supposed to be where SK Telecom should have been well positioned. And now it looks like their mid-tier one turret going to get raised and SKT now on the back foot in yeah. this game. And they're easily gonna be able to take this one out as Kive Heights on Bush was able to get that ward down and he just used his laser to poke so can't actually stop the mid lane. And that does mean with Scion ulting in, SKT make a very strong arm move. Yeah, I'm Flatter still not 100% sure. Yeah. Still working on that one yeah. as Baron is started here by Teddy and Clid. The vision is not down yeah. just yet. Baker and Mana trying to uh, zone them. But speaking of zoning, how about a kill to get the big zone down as one trouble, trouble bubble leads to his death here. And now Kyuve really trying to force a 4v5. Not sure about that one. He's going to be Whoa. put in the death chamber. Will trade his life for the one for one as they do give another kill over to both. You get your top. poker chips out. Yeah. What's it gonna be? As Peanut desperately wanted this and well, he's gonna go down for it as what? no siree. Huh? You will, uh, okay, even redemption as Whoa. well. Zoe having fun. I feel like I've seen this before as trying to get that drift on. Here comes Scion into the back line. Khan is so tanky right now. Can they burst through him though? With that magic damage you were talking about, big redemption oh. as Peanut just gonna disappear. Faker says, nah, -uh. I'm gonna take you out and down he will go. SKT gonna come out ahead with one kill. That was a really big fight and they have to be Ooh. so careful right now. This oh, is Zoe. Faker. Faker's feeling it right now. He flashes on in. Is he able to two get tonight, Brendan. Yeah, and I if think he so. doesn't, we're gonna have to call for a recount. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the presidential election here. So. Look at g -Sun down here to cast Jinner yeah. in the next series. He's <laughs> got one Ocean Drake, you're not really gonna notice it, but Faker, he's taking poke, but he's able to dish it out more and then just regen back so much more with the Triple Ocean. They have, of course, the Infernal as well, as it's just the Faker Sniper Show yeah. as they push a bunch of turrets. We talked about the Zoe needed to show up big here for SKT, and it has done... Only two sidekicks. Oh, Peanut has to be really careful there. Mata trying to make a case for some more Zoe abilities to land. As as we're approaching the 40 minute mark. SK Telecom, they can keep. Oh, man. Uh, uh, Peanut, that's not where you want to be. He takes a huge amount of Mata, able to get the big follow up. Peanut, he is in so much trouble. The Ignite. <laughs> Are you. Oh, man, they're not going to kill him. He lives with one health, but. No. Okay, uh, he's got Warmox too. That's oh, not enough. They're gonna no. start the Baron. I can see the the future flashing before my eyes right now. Look at Peanut's health. He's still in this fight as Clid. Gonna take a bunch of damage here, but Sleepy Trouble Bubble now onto oh. Rom. Life, oh no. Oh. Well, he does have his own Zoe? stopwatch. Baker looking for the angle. Oh, he hits the Sivir, but Zach oh. into the back line. Focus down the Peanut, get him down. They're gonna get him as well. Teddy takes out the Braum here and fly. Forced to cleanse that last trouble bubble. Two members go down on the side of Gen G. It doesn't look like SKT is done just yet. Gen G still on the run, and oh! boy, he's gonna get burst down by the Kaisa. See you later. And you can say the same here to the Urgot. He's even gonna oh flash. Oh my, so Zoe is putting everyone to sleep. It's it's Faker Show, man. He's just doing it over and over and over again. And I think oh. SK Telecom, they just want to end. There is Looks like a it. lot of death timers still remaining. 34 seconds until Fly comes up. 45 for Vi or for Urgot, and there's no way Ruler is going to be able to stop this push. Khan just saying, hey, look at me. <laughs> he is eating all the aggro, and it just doesn't matter. The Nexus turrets fall. It's another one. There it is. Another win as well for SKT, and you'd have to imagine another MVP. 
for the Matt and Silver, okay? <laughs> We're not quite there. I'm going to hand it over to Jisun. She's going to handle the interview. Take it away. Thank you very much, guys. This is Jisun's big interview translation. And we're going to be finally joined by Faker and my character from the first time of the split. A lot of men have been waiting for you. It took me so long to get this MVP. I'm really happy right now. I always appreciate all the love and support. As Gatalan comes, matches are always getting sold out. Maybe thanks to you, Faker, you're the superstar. Yes. How do you feel on today's victory? Well, today, our performance was up to our full potential, so yeah, well, there are some mistakes, but we finally got the victory, and I also got the MVP, so I'm quite satisfied. It is a solo MVP, maybe. That's why you're happier. The game, too, you locked in LeBlanc. There were situations before that you were able to kind of go with LeBlanc, but this was the first time. Well, during this meta, uh, during the season, the, the meta changed a lot. And there are a lot of champions that I can play. This time with this new patch, 9.3, I was able to lock in LeBlanc today. But there were a lot of highlights and outplays on LeBlanc. Especially there were a uh, solo kill on mid lane to Zoe. So what was going on over here? <laughs> this was a solo kill. <laughs> so I was expecting that flash, sleep, flippy trouble bubble, so I was able to sidestep and take her down. <laughs> Game 3, you were the one playing Zoe. You also pulled a great performance. So how was facing Zoe in Game 2? Fly in the first game, he was a little bit going defensively, but game two, he was a bit more aggressive. Maybe that's what, maybe because we lost the first game, he seemed to be a little bit more confident. So that was actually easier for me to kind of make kills over there. In game three, I'm a good Zoe player, so I was pulling up fairly good performance. You're putting everyone on sleep with, game, with on Zoe in Game 3. So is there any tips for landing your sleepy trouble bubble? Mm -hmm. Just do it well, behind the wall, maybe. No special tips. Was today your day for playing Zoe? Was it connecting well? I mean, all the other players, players were doing so well playing with the aggro, so it was easy for me to perform well. But game three, we are actually curious that you guys locked in Cyan and Kaisa, which were both nerfed. Well, it's because Genji usually prefers some balanced composition, you know, tankers in the front lane and rule in the back lane to carry the team fights. But as Telecom, we are also confident with this kind of draft, so we try to go with some composition with tankers and also strong AD carries. So what was the plan for Game 3? We were in the lead in the Game 3 a lot. We had a lot of things and action to pull off, so we were just making a lot of action all around the map. Last time, Khan said during the MVP interview that Faker can MVP maybe later in the split. Is there any message for Khan today? To be honest, I think I missed a lot of MVP that I deserved. I was a little bit sad. So maybe next time? I hope, I, I, hope I, I can get more MVPs instead of giving to other players. We'll be look, looking forward to seeing you and Khan on the MVP stage. And your next opponent will be KT Roaster in the Telecom War. How are you going to prepare for it? So this is almost the end of the first round. We have two losses so far. Against Griffin and Sandbox. So next time against KT Roaster. 
이번 첸지와 마찬가지로 2승 5패인 팀인데 like, 저희가 이번에 Just like Genji, they're on two win and five losses, so we must take down KT Rolster. And also it is a telecom war. It's a... Uh, all, all the SK Telecom office will be happy with our victory. Do you use SK Telecom with your cell phone? Yes, I do. Is there any last message for your friends? Celebrating your first MVP, first MVP interview. 또 저희 팀이 승리를 했는데 많은 분들이 와주셔서 감사하고요. Thank you for coming out to support us. MVP 많이 받겠습니다. And I'm gonna make sure to pick up more MVPs from the rest of the splits. 네, 치어프레 특히나 상혁 선수 이름이 많이 보이는 오늘입니다. We have seen a lot of fan signs out here with your name on it, and thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.